Hello, my name is Nicholas, and I am one of the few members of the Apple Tech Vlog YouTube channel. Today I'm going to try to get through all of the boring introductory stuff as quick as I can in order for me to jump into a city of tweak that I found out about today and I'd like to show you guys because it's a very interesting and cool city of tweak. So basically this vlog is dedicated to showing you everything about the jailbreak world, whether it is city of tweaks, themes, or jailbreaking in general. This will answer most of your questions, or if you're fetching to find a new city of tweak that will make your device outstand from the others, this is where you'll find it. Uh, this channel will be updated regularly, most likely daily, in order to accommodate for the abundance of jailbreak tweaks that are out there. And without further ado, uh, let's get started. So today's city of tweak is called Protein. And if you look at my status bar, you will see that it's out of order. This is the tweak. This is what it does. It changes the layout of your status bar. Let's go into the application settings. Protein. And here you can choose from an abundance of different options. Let's start with organization. So the organization aspect is the layout. And this all happens in real time, which means that you don't have to respring your device after you set it up. So, let's say I wanted the time all the way in the left. That's where it shows up. Let's say I wanted it in the center. That's where it shows up. And let's say I didn't want it at all. That's where it doesn't show up. You could also change the order of which they appear. So say I want the time to come right before the battery. There it goes. Say I want the battery percentage all the way on the far right. There it goes. So that is the status bar customization format of that tweak now do you see how I have these little icons right here this is an Android style way of showing you what apps have notif notifications for them now if I click into app notifications you'll see a list of apps that I have set up for this to show me which uh, apps I have notifications for so say you wanted to add an application you just search for it, kick, that's what I want to add. So once you click on kick, you choose a tap action, meaning once you choose an action for it, if you say tap on the kick icon, it will launch into kick, or if you have activator, which I don't, you can choose a gesture for it that will do something with the application. I'm going to leave it as nothing because I don't really need it. And once you're there, you have to choose an icon that will show up for it and you can customize it to anything you like so people uh, so say you wanna make people think that you don't have a notification for kick you could put like a I don't know uh, maybe a PlayStation logo so people think it's a PlayStation uh, notification in this case I'm not sure I need to be hiding anything so I'll just leave it at kick so if, say I wanted to set it up I'll just search for kick and there it is it's kick it all happens in real time no respring is required and the status bar also works with the application meaning say I have one notification for kick right now if I open up kick and then click on it you see how the icon's gone that's because the notification is gone uh, that's the end of the tweak video portion of the, that's the two I'm sorry, rewind. That's the end of the tweak portion explanation for this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. This is Apple Tech Vlog, and I'll see you in the next one.